Hi, Reverend Lunch Lady here, also known as Love Coach Macy. I am the founder of Big Happy Love Coaching. Here I am in the worldwide headquarters, and I help singles create phenomenal love relationships, what I like to call unicorn love, which is the kind of love you never thought could exist, but it does. Today, I want to talk to you specifically about your online dating profile. If you are someone who is sort of considering it, given the times where we're all at home and everyone is online in their work and in play and now in socializing and dating even more and more and more, then this is the time to really hone your skills in this space. So I wanna give you three keys that every profile should have so that online dating actually can work for you. So um, the first thing, the first thing is your profile wants to hold your values. It's not a space to just speak in general terms. I know a lot of people have fear around, oh, well, you know, I don't want to get rejected. I don't want, you know, to not be accepted. That's a whole nother video. In your profile, you want to be able to know your values and actually show them in words. If you're just saying, I am healthy, I want someone who has a sense of humor, that says nothing. It really has to be more of sharing what it means for you in your life, what healthy looks like for you. Are you making a homemade vegan green drink every morning with kale and spirulina? Or are you adding lettuce to your cheeseburger? Those are two different kinds of healthy. So really being able to be specific about what things, what your life is like and sharing it. Um, the next thing you want to make sure that you include is really include that energy, space, and consciousness that is your person. And what do I mean by that? Like actually speak to your person as you're writing. And it's not going to be like, dear boyfriend, here's what we're going to do. It's not like that. It's more like, okay, you're painting the picture of your life, but you're also including aspects of the kind of person that you imagine co-creating with. Like that person, you're the kind of person who would, um, would host a uh, fundraiser for our community or something like that. You're the kind of person that doesn't mind like getting up early and just going out without a plan and just creating our own adventure. You're the kind of person who loves animals. You're the kind of person who, um, whatever it is, like there's a million different things you can take that to. So you wanna include your person in your profile a little bit so that they can see what it is that you are um, looking for. And then the final thing is creating an invitation. So in your words, in your writing, as you're putting together your profile, how are you actually inviting that person to reach out to you? A couple different ways are available. One, when you use specific, when you, specifics, when you say things like, oh, you know, I love cooking um, homemade pasta and making my own grandma recipe sauce in the kitchen while making up songs about cooking at the same time. That sort of paint, paints a picture. And then you can say something like, um, what's your favorite thing to cook at home? Something like that. Then you're including that person in your um, writing. And, or maybe you say something like, oh, I've always 
wanted to go to Spain last summer, I ended up going to Barcelona and we saw this amazing architecture and, um, and I enjoyed the galleries and blah, blah, blah. My favorite part was da, 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 whatever you're saying. And then say, hey, you know, what's on your bucket list? Like, what places do you want to travel that you haven't gone to so far? Something like that, then you're including them and giving them an invitation and giving people who actually know what you're talking about an easy in to write you back. So those are my three tips. One, you want to include your values. Two, you want to include that person in your profile. And three, you want to create that invitation. So if this has been helpful, please share this, invite people to watch it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, but also I invite you to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me if you're interested in actually taking this further because it's easy to have some tips, but then sometimes it can be challenging to actually deliver it. So if you would like support in creating the love that you're desiring, I'd love to help you. Fill out the um, form below to get a one-on-one -on -one session with me. And I look forward to helping you to create that amazing unicorn love relationship. Thanks for watching.